It wasn't that hard, really. It wasn't such a struggle. I think working on the song, the harmonies and the way the songs were sung was the hardest thing. But he actually had a lot of those memories of melodies that he was working on before Hunter came with the words. And there was just a beautiful marriage of the two, of the two talents. And they worked together for many years. And some, but some of those songs were built in a day. I've been covering dead songs since you know I was probably 15, 16. Um, I read the book Dark Star, which is a lot of uh, uh, stories of people around what what Jerry has done and what they did together, traveling, taking care of as many people as he had for a long time, and the legacy that they created. And they basically invented outdoor PA systems from that to actually, you know, the culture they made with their fans, and so. The connection that's there, the legacy that they made and created is very inspiring and definitely influential on me. Historically, looking back on trading shows, that it was such a passionate thing when people would come and they would record these shows and trade them throughout history. And even now, um, it, people still have, a, have a, um, a network of trading these things. And I, I've been able to collect a lot of them probably, I don't know, i got a hard drive that's completely full of them and listen to the creativity and all the different influences. So the Dead have been often called the greatest rock and roll band in the world, but their music was infused with country, blues, jazz, and a touch of Tin Pan Alley. Uncle John's band, Bertha, U.S. Blues, Touch of Grey, the list goes on and on. Um, a songwriting match made in heaven when Jerry Garcia and Robert Hunter, two Bay Area natives, first met in 1961. Introduced by a mutual friend, they performed together in bluegrass combos, and in 1967, Hunter was invited by Garcia to become the lyricist for his band, The Grateful Dead, and affectionately mentioned as the non-performing band member. The rest, as Robert wrote in their song, Truckin' was a long, strange trip. Sadly, Jerry Garcia passed away in 1995, and since that time, Robert has collaborated with the remaining members of The Grateful Dead, and artists ranging from Bob Dylan to Jim Lauderdale. What the music of Jerry and Robert has meant and will continue to mean generations can't really be expressed. So long after the upcoming Grateful Dead's Fare Thee Well concerts are over, these songs will live on forever. <clears throat> they helped me as a young musician and somebody that needed to, to make some tip money to get to the next gig. Played many of these songs, um, listened to them in the long hours of the night, chasing down, chasing down songs, inspired me to try to put feeling into a song when you hear it and put the spirit in, into a song, which they did so well on so, so many different songs. Um, so I'm so proud to induct Robert Hunter and Jerry Garcia into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Please welcome Robert and Jerry's daughter, Trixie. Uh, 
did you say Robert and Jerry's daughter, Trixie? Did there I? might have been a glitch in the system there for a second. Oh, okay. Okay. That's what it said. Sorry. Oh. That was great. Yeah, that was great. Hey, um, you know, a, a song cannot emerge in any time but its own, the time it helps create. A tune contains its unique place in eternity, just as the specific time contains the tune, allowing the past to sketch the outlines of the future. It can, be, it can take a lifetime to grasp that, or an instant, whichever is longer. Speaking of the present, I'd like to thank my girl gang, Jesse, Charlotte, Tulula Rose, Katie, and my darling wife, Maureen, for coming cross country to laugh at my jokes, make sure I eat, and God willing the crick don't rise, get me back west in one piece. <laughs> I'd like to thank my agent, Steve Martin, and uh, also Trixie, bless her heart, come to collect Jerry's share of the award. But the rest of what I have to say is best conveyed in a Garcia melody. So, you got anything you'd like to say? I am so honored to receive this award for Jerry Garcia's family. It has been a wonderful life um, in his wake of, of people enlightened and inspired. The songs that you guys wrote together have helped a whole generation make sense of this weird life. Thank you so much. And thank you to the Songwriters Hall of Fame. One of the best songs uh, the Grateful Dead had in its repertoire is about to happen right now. When there is no pill tossed, no wind to blow, reach out your hand. If your cup be empty, if your cup is full, may it be again, let it be known. There is a fountain that was not made by the hands of men, and there's a road, no simple highway between the dawn and the dark of no one may follow. It's hard to say with Jerry. You know, he set a, a, a cardboard cutout to himself for his Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's hard. It's hard to say, but I know the songs mean as much to him. Or Matt, I guess the word. No, mean as much to him as they do to me. So yeah. I think so. I think he dig it.